Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. Previously, we discussed the male and female sex hormones, the drugs used for erectile dysfunction and oral contraceptives. If you did not watch them, the links are given in the description below this video, watch them. In this video, I would like to discuss the corticosteroids such as cortisone and hydrocortisone. From this lesson, you will be able to understand the corticosteroids, their chemistry, classification, structure activity relationship, pharmacology and the individual drugs such as cortisone and hydrocortisone. Introduction to Corticosteroids Corticosteroids are also known as adrenal cortical hormones. The cortico part of the name refers to the adrenal cortex which makes these steroid hormones. They are a class of steroid hormones that are produced by the adrenal cortex. Thus, a corticosteroid is a cortex steroid. The adrenal glands of mammals are situated just above the kidneys as you can see in the figure. Adrenal glands are flattened, cap-like structures located above the kidneys. Adrenal gland is divided into medulla, the inner part, and cortex, the outer part. The inner core or medulla produces adrenaline and the outer part of cortex produces the steroid hormones. At least 50 adrenocortical hormones are produced by the adrenal gland. The production of these adrenocortical hormones is controlled by the hormone produced in the anterior lobe of the pituitary, the so-called adrenocorticotropic hormone that is ACTH or corticotropin releasing hormone CRH. These affect carbohydrate metabolism and electrolyte balance. Two main classes of corticosteroids are glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids. They are involved in a wide range of physiological processes including as a stress response, immune response, regulation of inflammation, carbohydrate metabolism, protein metabolism, blood electrolyte levels and behavior. Glucocorticoids such as cortisol affect carbohydrate metabolism, fat metabolism and protein metabolism and have anti-inflammatory, immunosuppressive, anti-proliferative and vasoconstrictive effects. Anti-inflammatory effects are mediated by blocking the action of inflammatory mediators that is trans repression and inducing anti-inflammatory mediators that is trans activation. Immunosuppressive effects are mediated by suppressing delayed hypersensitivity reactions by direct action on T lymphocytes. Anti-proliferative effects are mediated by action of DNA synthesis and epidermal cell turnover. Vasoconstrictive effects are mediated by inhibiting the action of inflammatory mediators such as histidine, an amino acid. Mineralocorticoids such as aldosterone are primarily involved in the regulation of electrolyte and water balance by modulating ion transport in the epithelial cells of the renal tubules of the kidney. Some common naturally occurring corticosteroids are cortisol, corticosterone, cortisone and aldosterone. Note that cortisone and aldocortisone are isomeric to each other. The main corticosteroids produced by the adrenal cortex are cortisol and aldosterone. All these corticosteroids are pregnant derivatives. They are also the derivatives of cyclopentanophenanthrene with keto groups at C3 and C20 and an unsaturated bond between C4 and C5 and the presence of an axial beta carbonyl hydroxymethyl side chain at C17 that is absolutely necessary. They all possess 4 in 3 own function and 20-21 ketol meaning that 20 keto and 21 alcoholic group. They differ from each other by the presence or absence of a 17 alpha hydroxyl group and by the presence or absence of an oxygen function at C11 that is 11 beta hydroxy or 11 oxo group. In aldosterone, the 18 methyl group is replaced by an aldehyde group. These differences determine the major pharmacological properties of these drugs and their precursors. Classification of corticosteroids 
Corticosteroids are grouped into four classes based on their chemical structure. Number one, hydrocortisone type. Number two, acetonides and related compounds. Number three, beta methazone type. And number four, esters. The examples of each type have also been given here. Structure activity relationship. In order to have a glucocorticoid activity, the presence of a hydroxyl group at position C11 beta and C17 alpha in the structure of the pregnant system is very important. At the same time, in order to have a mineralocorticoid activity, an oxygen functional group is needed at C11 and C18 or else an absence of a hydroxyl functional groups are simultaneously needed at C11 and C17. In general, it is likely that the glucocorticoid binding with receptor sites should take place only in the simultaneous presence of the C11 beta hydroxyl group and C17 beta carbonyl hydroxymethyl side chain of the steroid system. The presence of other bulky axially oriented beta substituents in the molecule as a rule inhibits binding of steroid molecules with receptors while analogs with equatorial alpha substituents do not cause large problems. The 4-5 double bond and the three keto functions are both required for a typical adrenocorticosteroid activity. The presence of oxygen function at C11 is necessary for significant anti-inflammatory and carbohydrate regulating activity and it is not essential as shown by deoxycortisone. For fullest expression of carbohydrate regulating and anti-inflammatory effects, the presence of 17-alpha hydroxyl group is required. The generalizations mostly seem to hold true in the synthetic analogs also. Corticosteroids act as agonists of the glucocorticoid receptor and or the mineralocorticoid receptor. In addition to their corticosteroid activity, some corticosteroids may have some progestogenic activity and may produce sex-related side effects. The medical uses of corticosteroids Synthetic corticosteroid like pharmaceutical drugs are used in a variety of conditions ranging from brain tumors to skin diseases. Dexamethasone and its derivatives are almost pure glucocorticoids while prednisone and its derivatives have some mineralocorticoid action in addition to the glucocorticoid effect. Fludrocortisone is a synthetic mineralocorticoid. Hydrocortisone is typically used for replacement therapy that is for adrenal insufficiency and congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Medical conditions treated with systemic corticosteroids include allergy and respirology medicine, dermatology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, hematology, rheumatology, immunology, ophthalmology and various other conditions. Coming to the individual drugs, cortisone. Cortisone is a pregnant steroid hormone. It is a synthetic corticosteroid which is not secreted or released by the adrenal gland. It is chemically 17-alpha, 21-dihydroxypregn, 4-in, 3-11-21-trione. It is closely related to cortisol, a compound which is released by the adrenal gland. It is used to treat a variety of ailments and can be administered intravenously, orally, intraarticularly, that is into a joint or transcutaneously. Cortisone suppresses the immune system, thus reducing inflammation and attendant pain and swelling at the site of the injury. It is one of the several end products of a process called steroidogenesis. Synthesis of Cortisone Cortisone is synthesized in various methods from compounds already having the steroid skeleton. The first method involves the synthesis of cortisone from progesterone which undergoes microbiological oxidation forming 11-alpha hydroxyprogesterone. The hydroxyl group of this compound is oxidized to a keto group by chromium oxide in acetic acid giving 11-keto progesterone. This is reacted with diethyl oxalate in the presence of sodium ethoxide forming the corresponding alpha keto ester in the form of a sodium enolate which undergoes bromination with two equivalents of bromine giving a dibromo ketone. The resulting dibromo ketone undergoes a Faversky rearrangement but the product is not hydrolyzed and the unsaturated acid is isolated in the form of a methyl ester. 
reacting this methyl ester with pyrrolidine gives a diamine the diamine produced undergoes reduction by lithium aluminum hydride which results in that the keto group on c11 transforms into a hydroxyl group and the carbomethoxy group to a primary alcohol acidic hydrolysis of the product and subsequent acetylation gives an acetate and the hydroxyl group at c11 in which it is oxidized with chromium oxide to a ketone this undergoes a reaction with osmium tetroxide and the resulting osmate is oxidized by magnesium oxide in n methyl morpholine giving cortisone acetate Hydrolysis of the acetyl group using sodium bicarbonate leads to the formation of cortisone. The second method of making cortisone is from dihydrocortisone acetate. This undergoes monobromination by bromine giving the 4-bromo derivative of dihydrocortisone acetate. This is reacted with semicarboxide which results in removal of hydrobromic acid and simultaneously making the semicarboxone at the keto group on C3. 21 ortho acetyl cortisone is isolated from semicarboxone using pyruvic acid. Hydrolysis of the acetyl group using potassium bicarbonate giving the desired cortisone. The effects and uses of cortisone. Cortisol, a glucocorticoid and epinephrine are the main compounds released by the body as a reaction to stress. They elevate blood pressure and prepare the body for a fight or flight response. A cortisone injection can be used to give short-term pain relief and reduce the swelling from inflammation of a joint, tendon or bursa in, for example, the joints of the knee, elbow and shoulder and into a broken coccyx. Cortisone is also used by dermatologists to treat keloids, relieve the symptoms of eczema and atopic dermatitis and stop the development of sarcoidosis. The next drug is hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone is also known as cortisol. Chemically, it is 11 beta 17 alpha 21 trihydroxy pregn 4 in 320 dione. It is a naturally occurring pregnant steroid. A variety of hydrocortisone esters exist and have been marketed for medical use. It acts specifically as BOT, a glucocorticoid, and as a mineralocorticoid. It has low potency relative to synthetic corticosteroids. Synthesis of hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone is synthesized in various methods and from various compounds containing a steroidal skeleton. In the first method, hydrocortisone is synthesized from dextropregnenolone. The double bond between C16 and C17 of dextropregnenolone is oxidized using hydrogen peroxide in a base such as sodium hydroxide forming an epoxide. Interacting this with hydrobromic acid opens the epoxide ring forming 16-bromo-17-hydroxy dextropregnenolone. The resulting bromo derivative undergoes debromination by hydrogen using a palladium on carbon catalyst and then the secondary hydroxyl group undergoes esterification using formic acid in the presence of paratolin sulfonic acid giving 3 formyl oxy 17 hydroxy dextropregnenolone. The resulting 3 formyl oxy 17 hydroxy dextropregnenolone undergoes bromination by bromine, which results in bromination of the C4 C5 double bond and the methyl group of acetyl moiety, which forms a tribromo derivative. Reacting the product with sodium iodide results in a dehalogenation of the resulting vicinal dibromide during which the double bond is simultaneously shifted into the position between carbon atoms C5 and C6 that gives the bromoketone. The so formed bromoketone reacts with potassium acetate and then with acetic anhydride in the presence of paratolin sulfonic acid forming a diacetate. Taking into account that unlike acetates, formates are easily oxidized and gives exactly the same products as do the corresponding alcohols, the resulting diacetate is oxidized in an openor oxidation reaction using aluminium isopropoxide and cyclohexanone as a hydrogen acceptor. 
During this, isomerization of the double bond into the primary position between C4 and C5 simultaneously takes place forming a stable conjugated vinyl ketone after which the acetyl protection of both hydroxyl groups is hydrolyzed using potassium hydroxide giving 17 hydroxy 11 deoxy corticosterone. This undergoes microbiological oxidation at position C1 forming the desired hydrocortisone. In the second method of making hydrocortisone consists of using progesterone as the starting substance. In the first stage of the synthesis, progesterone undergoes microbiological oxidation analogous to that described in the first method which forms 11-alpha hydroxy progesterone. The resulting hydroxyl group is oxidized by chromium oxide in acetic acid giving 11-keto progesterone. This is reacted with diethyl oxalate in the presence of sodium ethoxide forming the corresponding alpha keto ester in the form of the sodium enolate which undergoes bromination by two equivalents of bromine giving the dibromo ketone. The resulting dibromo ketone undergoes Faversky rearrangement reaction and is further hydrolyzed giving an unsaturated acid. The carbonyl group at position C3 is ketalized using ethylene glycol in the presence of paratoline sulfonic acid during which a migration of the double bond between carbon atoms C5 and C6 takes place forming a ketal. The resulting product is reduced by lithium aluminium hydride. During this, the carboxyl and keto groups at C11 are reduced to alcohol groups forming a diol. The ketol protecting group is subsequently removed in acidic conditions during which the double bond again migrates back to the initial position between C4 and C5 and the primary hydroxyl group is acylated by acetic anhydride in pyridine. The double bond in this compound is oxidized using hydrogen peroxide in the presence of osmium tetroxide in N-methyl morpholine forming hydrocortisone acetate. Hydrolysis of the acetyl group with potassium hydroxide gives hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone can also be synthesized from cortisone acetate. Cortisone acetate is treated with semicarbazide during which the disemicarbazone is formed as a result of a reaction at both carbonyl groups at C3 and C20. The carbonyl group at C11 is reduced by potassium borohydride to an alcohol group during which the acetyl group on the hydroxyl at C21 is simultaneously removed giving a semicarbazone. By removing the semicarbazide protection using nitric acid, hydrocortisone is formed. Uses of hydrocortisone Hydrocortisone is used as an immunosuppressive drug given by injection in the treatment of severe allergic reactions such as anaphylaxis and angioedema. In place of prednisolone in patients needing steroid treatment but unable to take oral medication and perioperatively in patients on long-term steroid treatment to prevent an adrenal crisis. It may also be injected into inflamed joints resulting from diseases such as gout. It may be used topically for allergic rashes, eczema, psoriasis, itching and other inflammatory skin conditions. These are the references followed for this lecture. That's all in this video on corticosteroids. In the next lesson, we will discuss the other corticosteroids such as prednisolone, betamethasone and dexamethasone. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.